Cause you are my everything And I'm gonna do anything Go put that on everything Oh, for you If I give you all my love And would you treasure Would you cherish it I never let me go Cause you're not gonna find someone To love you better Oh, if I want to Never certain I want to You we are back on the island, guys. Welcome back to yet another great episode on Island Lime. Sending love to all my Caribbean people all around the world, wherever you may be and you're locked on. It's nighttime in Trinidad and Tobago, but if you're in another part of the world, if it's morning, good morning. If it's afternoon, good afternoon. And, well, other places that is night, good night. But right now, I am excited because we have a special guest who will be joining us shortly. But before we do that, let me send some love to our sponsors, Digicel, NLCB, Nestle Nutrigo, Ultra Lounge, and most importantly, all of my supporters out there that definitely show me love every single time. Every time you subscribe, don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel and also download the Go Loud app, the Playgo app, and continue supporting me on Instagram underscore Whitney Husband underscore IGTV to see all the great episodes. And if you miss some of the past seasons, you can take that in as well. So I'm excited for this because we have a young lady that will be joining us on set where she's actually one of the few female djs you will see not just in trinidad and tobago but in the caribbean where it's male dominated and she's here with us on the island to chat with us just a little bit and get to know her a little bit more so i am so excited to welcome this talented ambitious female dj right here out of trinidad and tobago dj charlotte welcome darling Thank you for having me. Looking gorgeous as usual. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to my island. Yes, I love it. Yes, yes. You know, it's COVID right now, so it's a scene, but I have to make sure that you still feel like it's something nice. I like feel like, a, the like an outside. Yeah, like outside. Yeah. Finally, yeah. outside. Yes, yeah. Exactly. That is how it's supposed <laughs> to be. But we have to dive straight in. Okay. We're not going to stick at all. Okay. This segment is brought to you by NLCB. Now, this is the Hot Topics. Okay. And we allowed your fans to send us a question for you mm. for us to start our Hot Topics for today. So, this is all about you. This is all about you. All right. So, you have a fan here. Uh -huh. Let me let you know what the fan said. This is from at wildman underscore 1991, right? And he wants to know, tell us about your career as a DJ. Let's start there, because it's two questions actually in one, so I'll give him that. Okay. Tell us about your career as a, a, a DJ, especially a female DJ. Well, at first it was very intimidating being in a male-dominated industry, so it was scary at first, but I always looked at it as this is a passion. You know, this is something that I really enjoy doing and I managed to turn that into a career. Um, you know, I've had the male counterparts come at me in certain ways, as expected, but... Being very inappropriate. I mean, yeah, yeah. somewhat. Tusty but man. Tusty man, kind of, you know, kinda, always doubting, yeah. you know, Your sometimes... Skills. Not even just my skill, but just me being a DJ. Like, some, some people couldn't believe that I actually was a DJ. Because I didn't look like a DJ. How about you supposed to look? I, I, I guess not so fancy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually didn't used to dress like that before. I was just dressed like how I wanted to, you know, what I wanted to wear. Still do, but you know, I had to add a little razzle dazzle a little bit. Of course, yeah. But um, yeah, it was very, um, very scary at first. There were times when I wouldn't even get inside the venue because the bunks or the security or somebody didn't believe I was a DJ. They thought I was a groupie. Yeah, holding a DJ's bag. Yeah. <laughs> no, you lying. Uh, no, I this is a that. true story. This is a true story. So true give story. us, give us that in a nutshell. You showed up at the venue. I showed up at the event. I was booked to play from like 12 to 1, so I showed up a little before and I was like, "Hi, I'm here to DJ." And the bunk was like. So who DJ you with? Like who, like yeah, like yeah, nice try. And I had to call the promoter and the promoter had to come out and be like, no, she's actually a DJ. And what did the bouncer do? The bouncer let me in, but after I came out, he came, he was like, I'm so sorry, you were so good. And I was like, it's, it's okay. 
And I had to get accustomed to that. That happened quite a few times, like going to events and people not believing I was a DJ and thing. But I mean, in time, I built a reputation. You know, I just focused on myself, my brand. I didn't really try to focus on, on what, you know, the other male DJs or anybody else was saying, you know. I was kind of like, I'm in my own lane and I'm going to focus on that. So, yeah. So it's been rough, but it's been worth it. That bounce, how are you feeling now? Good. Like, I can't feel it. <laughs> Throw me far left, you want to say, yeah, right. And like, you could be a happens. DJ. It happens, it happens. You'd be surprised how many times that happens. Yeah. More than once? Yeah, more than once. Showing up at an event and had to give them my name and they're like, DJ. So, <laughs> see me. Like, yeah. Is that DJ? And I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. God. Man, I would have felt really bad. I might have used some bad words, I'm not lying. I did hold back what I really wanted to, to say. say. <laughs> but then you don't say emotional. Yeah, female, you know. So Our females, we always get it, you know. We always, always get But always. you do anything, so we Thank can't you. get upset about that. Now, the other question is, do male DJs give you a hard time about being a woman, taking control, especially when you're on your set? I think in the earlies, I encountered older um male DJs that were, I don't know if they were intimidated or they just didn't want to take me seriously, but I've had instances where I would go on set after them and they would kind of be offended as to why is a woman coming after them, you know, me and they would do little petty things. Like what? I like, idea. Like, take out this CD out of me on <laughs> CDJ, I had that happen once. Um, yeah, just, just like little... So basically you were bullied? In the beginning, yeah. Because it's like it's like a, a and these yeah these were yeah kind of like that and these were clubs or small events. But eventually, I got to meet you know other DJs, the male DJs, the ones that are really successful. And it turns out that they happen to be no 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 I can't, I can't. No, Just go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, the actual, the really, really successful ones, and they are actually the most humble and helpful, and, and they gave me a lot of advice. So it wasn't all that bad. So yeah, it, it really is. It's like 50-50. You know, you, you'll encounter the, the bad ones, the ones that have a, a not so nice attitude, and yeah. then you'll meet the ones that are actually really helpful. They'll pull it aside, be like, hey, you know, you're doing good, and this is what you should do, and whatnot. I, and I just focus on the positive. I don't you really have to, yeah, because that is what's going to make you shine even exactly. more. Exactly. I love that. All right, so that's it for your hot topic for today, brought to you by NLCB. Right now, mm -hmm. we're getting ready for my game. Okay. Are you ready for my game? Yeah. I love all the games, that's why. I'm so excited. It's brought to you by Nestle Nutrigo. Right. And when I say ready, said Nutrigo. Okay. Get ready to answer. Okay. Are you ready? 24 seconds on the clock. 24 seconds. Let's go. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready, set, Nutrigo. Homebody or party? Homebody. <laughs> Money or sex? Money. <laughs> <laughs> what is invisible, but you wish people could see it? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Let's go to the next one quickly. Which local celebrity do you think is down to earth? Yes. Mm. I've, it's a salt thing. It's a oh salt thing. All right, it's all the it's, it's it's time, but I have to give this one. All the time, 24 seconds. It's up. It's up. It's up. But I have to give this one. I have to give this one. Are you ready? Okay. Fill any blank. Okay. Can you pay my blank? Bills. You sure? I can pay my bills. <laughs> but if you could, just pay the bills. Yeah, just pay the bills. Big up to Nestle, <laughs> we should go on that one. We had funny scenes earlier, it was real exciting. It was. 24 seconds passes like that. But um, before we wrap things up, okay. would you like to say anything, especially to young girls who really want to get involved into the entertainment field, especially as a DJ, a female DJ? Okay. And this is not, uh, I think many people need to understand that this is not a side hustle for you. This is all that you do. This is my job. Yeah, yeah. you don't have anything else that you mm -hmm. could fall back on. You, do, you don't have an eight to four, nine to five. This is you, this is your life. Yeah. So what advice you could really give, especially young girls who want to venture into that career? I know usually people would say work hard and all of these generic things, but I would say work smart. I would say network. Okay. 
meet as much people in the industry as you possibly can. Yes, putting the work when you're at home and whatnot, you're working hard to be a DJ, but the real key is to network and to meet as much people. People are your job. Mm -hmm. You need to focus on that, focus on your crowd, focus on your craft. This is not just a, a flyby. You know, it doesn't happen. The success does not happen overnight. You have to put in the work. You also have to meet as much people, promoters, Network. DJs, anybody in the entertainment industry, meet as much people as you can. Put yourself out there. So that's what I would say. And also don't rest on the fact that you're a woman. Okay. You know, because that could be detrimental to your career. Don't just assume that people are going to book you because you're a female DJ. Like, you have to show up there and show them why you're here and make them want to book you again and again and again so every opportunity don't let it pass by put your best foot forward yeah you have to especially when you're cute yeah it's even harder it's even harder because you're instantly judged the moment you walk in your room they look at what you wear they look at how you are you know and they even try to tell you what music you should play you know like as a woman you know you should probably play more tune for the gal i'm like no so if i want to play music just if for, I the play crowd. for the crowd yeah you have to figure out your own style because DJs have a habit of kind of copying each other. I mean, it's not really intentional, but I think it just kind of happens when you're on the same circle of uh, uh, DJs. But you sure is the same with like a yeah. man, so anyone else in the same field? But your way of standing out is the knowledge of music and the way you play music, the way you hold a crowd and keep that crowd there. That is what's going to make you stand out from every other DJ. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, you're already standing out as a female, but when you come off your set, yeah, you had to make them be like, who wow, was yeah. that on the set? Yeah, you don't want to walk down with your head down like, oh my God, I'm ready no. to leave. Show up. Show up and show up. So, yeah, yeah, show up and show up. I definitely yeah. love that. DJ Charlotte, thank you so much for being here with us. I appreciate you continue shining and doing your thing. You'll make sure and follow DJ Charlotte on Instagram and all social media platforms. So it's that time for us to wrap things up. But before we do that, we get ready to give you the Digicel Go Loud Stage Artist of the Week. And we are heading to St. Lucia. Yeah. Moto is in the mix. And make sure and catch yourself for Uber to make sure you're back on the island for the next episode. I'm out. Everywhere.